Nice. Hi, I'm Margaret. I'm Corey. And this is A Pretty Cool Hotel Tour. We are in Miami, Florida. Did I say that weird? That's the name of the state and the city. We're in Miami. Our Amy. <laughs> what did you think I was gonna say? <laughs> we came to Miami because you know what? We needed a little vacation. Yeah, we did. We needed some palm trees, some sunshine, and some warmth. We needed to bust out our bare arms. We wanted to bear arms. We wanted to bear arms, so we came to Florida. We're gonna do a couple of hotel tours. We're gonna stop at a couple roadside attractions. We're doing the Miami thing. And we're bringing you along. You're welcome. We have such a little jungle around us. Very, very, very impressed with the light show, with the setup. Plus this incredible pole in the middle of the room. I'm overwhelmed. Location number two. This is the executive suite at the executive hotel. Um, how do you turn this guy on? This looks fun. There it is. Wow. All the way up the stairs to the balcony. We have the infamous love chair. The moment right here, this is why you get the executive suite because it has a heart-shaped hub. Executive hotels kind of own the Miami love hotel scene. So we had to stop by another one. Not so bad. On to the next. On to the next. So we've gotten a theme room. We've gotten a heart tub. And now we're hoping for a good time. So this is the Good Time Hotel. We've got a little bathroom over here and a cute little cubby of a room. Tiny little fridge in this little bedroom. Ready for a good time? Well, we figured it's time to take a small break from our hotel tours and get out on the beautiful blue water. You know, I get a little motion sick, so we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it's not a spews cruise. It's a booze cruise. Next stop, the standard. Final resort. It feels like a little island escape out here. I mean, look at this. I mean, it is kind of an island, I guess. Yeah, isn't people it? really should find out about this Miami place. You know what? And we have a sitting area. 
in the living room. But my favorite part of all, this is the money right here. Wow. Good spot. Good spot, good view. Guess I know where I'm having my morning coffee. This feels like a treat. Let's go enjoy it. Last morning in Florida, I think we saved the best for last. Sitting in an ocean view balcony at the Confidant. Cheers. Cheers. Miami is very known for its love motels. I think there are probably over 100 heart-shaped hubs in Miami alone. It's pretty wild. It's a good per capita. First stop was Estancia, which is a classic love motel. The details were amazing. There was foliage like you've never seen before, murals. It had it all and there was a light show. That's the thing, Miami does a really good job at their light shows in their love motels. Executive hotels are a very established uh, love hotel chain in Miami. We've been to a, a few by now. <laughs> but I wanted to stop at another one. That heart tub moment I really wanted to find in Miami, I found it. Then starts the resort aspect of, of us staying. We stayed first at the good time. The decor in the room was not very exciting. Very small rooms, you're not there for the rooms. You're there to see and be seen. You're there for the pool, you're there for the, the lounge areas. If the good time is the nightclub of resorts out here, the standard is the day spa of resorts. It is more chill, it is more upscale, and the pool is probably the best pool we've seen here. We also hit up a couple of cool local places, one of which was the old Versace Mansion, which is now a hotel. If you like the Versace Mansion or that type of decor, it is such a great spot to go for lunch. We did walk to the Erotic Museum. I'd say it's something to pop into if you have time. We also watched Scarface while we were in Miami, and it made me even more into all the vintage hotels and signs and like that drug lord of the 80s decor is just, it's gorgeous. One of the other super fun things we did on this trip was go on a tiki boat cruise, which I didn't even know that was a thing until I was just Googling things to do in Florida. And when I found a picture of a tiki bar floating on the water, I was like, obviously we gotta do that. Last but not least, the Confidant. The decor feels really vintage inspired, but also very kind of classic resort in that this has all the things to offer that I'd want in a, a beach vacation. So I'm really glad we ended here because it feels like we got just a taste of a real vacation. Well, wanna hit the beach? I would love to hit the beach after I apply my vacation sunscreen. Now available. I can tell just by looking at you. You got a little winner and some dirty nuts. Oh yeah, got a dance.